Good. Got some downhill flow here. Shift forward, two clicks. Shift, and then pedal. There you go. Ooh, here's a little. Woohoo! Yeah, nice. Woo! Good job, buddy. All right, shift back up. Climby gear, climby gear. In that climby gear. Oh boy. Good job. Nice shift. Man, you're doing great. Okay. Hey guys. This way. Hey guys. Here we're here today on the trail of Pretty Creek here. Wait a minute. That's my line. What's up, you guys? Uh, Forrest here with a new episode of the FOCO Flow Show uh, coming to you today with uh, a bit of a how-to video. Um, watching clip here of the youngest flow shower, Little Forrest, here and I on uh, one of our recent mountain biking trips together uh, and a how-to video on how to get your kid into mountain biking. Sure. Going to gonna have a really fun here. So let's go find that flow. <laughs> So before we get started, I want to introduce you to my uh, oldest child, that's Forrest, here in the video. He and I uh, have the same name, obviously. Uh, he is just about to be seven years old, and he and I have been mountain biking together for just under two years. So the video you see here, it's off and on mountain biking for almost two years uh, on uh, the bike that you see we have there, which we're going to cover in a little bit. And say hi to the people, Forrest. Forrest is a normal six-year-old kid. He's done Taekwondo for uh, about a year, year and a half now. He's done soccer. He's done baseball. He's done basketball. Uh, and all of the other great things that kids that age are into. As his father, I really just want him to be active, to get outside, to play organized sports. So learn sportsmanship, but as an avid mountain biker myself, uh, of course, I had a vested interest in wanting him to get into the sport so that we could go together and uh, share that father-son time together, as well as uh, share uh, my love of the sport of mountain biking together. Uh, so uh, I definitely urged and encouraged him to learn how to ride bike as early. I got him the bike that you see him riding there, which we'll cover in a bit, and um, I am definitely pursuing, quote-unquote, the dream uh, of getting uh, him more and more into the sport so we can do it more together. So coming up are uh, my couple of recommendations, tips, tricks there um, to help get your son or daughter into mountain biking if that is your desire. But before we do, let's hear from Forrest himself uh, about why he likes mountain biking. All right, dude, what do you like about mountain biking? Yeah, true. What else do you like? I like the downhill. You like going downhill? Me too. And mostly I like riding with my dad. Oh, I love riding with you too. What do you like to say when you're going downhill super fast? What do you say? Um, yee how, how do you say it? You say it real quiet or how do you say it? I say, I say it really loud. Well, tell me. How, show me. How do you say it? yee That's good. All right, let's go. So our first tip assumes the obvious, and that is you've already taught your son or daughter how to ride a bike uh, on two wheels without training wheels. Uh, I recommend a glider bike without pedals, uh, preferably one with handbrakes uh, so they can learn how to brake, uh, although not required. 
um, make sure that they're comfortable uh, starting and stopping uh, without too much assistance and they're comfortable on two wheels before we get them to uh, my first tip which is find a suitable trail with only a little bit of up and down and easy flow for them to gain confidence riding single track. The trail we're riding here is Pretty Creek, uh, about 20 minutes north of town uh, here in Charlottesville. And as you can see from the clip before and here on this uh, first person view from Forces Riding, it's very hard packed. Uh, and flat with a little bit of ups and downs. There's a little bit of roots and there's a little bit of uh, elevation, but hardly any steep, steep climbing. Obviously, some of this is obvious, but um, the easier it is to get them rolling and getting them gaining confidence. Uh, it is true single track. It's not super wide. Uh, I think it's good to get them uh, riding actual single track trails opposed to wide open gravel road the more that you can. Pretty Creek is perfect for that, um, for them to get pedaling, working on some maneuvers up and down to gain the confidence and feel comfortable without too much consequence of falling on rocks or falling obviously off of a, of a, of a mountain or a cliff or anything like that. So tip number two is also a little bit of a caveat, but it is to buy them a nice enough bike to ride trails with. Now, of course, in the end, I am in favor of getting kids on bikes. I don't care what kind of bike it is, a BMX bike, a mountain bike, a road bike, on dirt, on trail, on pavement, get them out riding. Uh, but uh, my experience was when I purchased Forest uh, that specific bike and uh, the bike that you see uh, in pink that I'm getting for my daughter Haven. Uh, it has big fat tires, uh, true mountain bike tires. It's got disc brakes. It's a one by seven drivetrain with a working front fork. You know, once they're good enough to ride, this bike really instilled a ton of confidence uh, in Forrest to help him tackle some stuff that he wasn't otherwise confident enough to try. And it made him feel like a real mountain biker, made him feel like dad. Uh, it's expensive. Those bikes go for about 450 bucks a pop. Again, I'm embarrassed to admit that I spent that much on both of my kids' bikes. But uh, in the end, I believe it makes a difference. It's not the only option out there. This one is a specialized Rip Rock uh, it comes in a 20 inch, which is the right for five, six, seven year olds, and then they have a bigger version of it. Uh, and then it goes on up to a 24 inch for the slightly older kids. Uh, again, this is not the only way to get your kid into mountain biking, but for me, it is the best bike out there. Something similar though, with some functioning brakes and uh, teaching them to shift with uh, some type of uh, gear drivetrain is key to getting them into true mountain biking. I'll go ahead and throw a link into the description to this uh, specialized website that you hear here. But uh, like I said, anything you can do to get the kids out there uh, with good functioning brakes and gears will get them going. Transitioning back onto the trail, my third tip is to make it an adventure. Um, Forrest loves getting out and doing cool things on the trail. He loved this. Uh, it was actually our first uh, ride into the dark. We had his lights all geared up using my old mountain bike right, uh, lights. And he loves going over uh, little whoops and jumps after he watches dad do the jump. Or he loves creek crossing. We'll show you here in a little bit. He just thinks anything that is a cool adventure or sort of uh, an accomplishment or something to overcome uh, is just really uh, increases the value uh, and makes him want to come back and do it more and more. Um, I've had him out on trail work days. Uh, so that's uh, sort of an additional little um, tip there to get him involved to go out there and help him build trail and then ride the trail that he builds. All of those kind of go into that same tip to make it fun for him in a sense of uh, just uh, accomplishing something cool, uh, a really um, achievement moment uh, like this creek crossing that you'll see here that he just loves and won't stop talking about um, days after we go on a ride. Oh, that water's cold. Woo. Yep. Go for it, dude. Go for it, dude.
Pedal hard, you gotta pedal. <laughs> nice job. So as we finish up uh, this ride here uh, in the night uh, with the headlights on, I'll leave you with my last tip, and that is to make sure that you reward them at the end of each ride to continue to keep the stoke high, to encourage them, you know, the young sons and daughters out there, man, they just want encouragement from their mom or their dad, know that they did a good job. So Forrest loves to get back in the car and every time we get back in the car he asks me if we're going to get Slurpees at 7-Eleven and he absolutely loves it and feels <laughs> probably likes that just as much as he likes the ride um, but it really hammers home just that it's a great time to spend time with mom or dad have a great time out in the outdoors and hey who doesn't love some Slurpees so as we wrap it up here I hope you found those tips useful it's an awesome experience being able to uh, mountain bike with your son or your daughter. I hope you get a chance to get out there with them. And when you're out there together, you know what to do. Go find that flow. Nice. Uh oh, get those climbing gears on. <laughs>